Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty and the first of the month means it is always kit building time for me as part of the design team at the Counterfeit Kit Challenge. If you need more information on that group, you will find the links down below. Basically what we do is take an inspiration piece and create our own scrapbooking kits. Our inspiration piece this month is from a Tracy Reed Designs and it's called the Wildflower Digital and Printable Scrapbook Kit. So I just want to say right up front that I do own this kit already, or at least portions of this kit already, both the digital and the printable section. This is an overview of the printables. She does have a video with unboxing with details on everything. This is an overview of the digital kit. And then we have overviews of various, these are pattern papers, traveler's notebooks, and then these are mostly the printable section with the digital stamps included and some cut files. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Like I said, this is the overview of the printable section and we'll take a further look here. This is the first journal card set and each of these are set up to print on eight and a half by 11 pages. And the thing that I'm noticing so far about this kit is uh, the definitely blue and yellow color scheme here, both in the light blue and the dark blue, and then some pops of green. As far as theme goes, I'm noticing this wild and free phrase, flourish, blooming. So definitely a nature inspired growth and kind of uh, happy life kind of theme. Some more journaling cards. These are the Traveler's Notebook signatures, which are made to print and cut also. Her main Traveler's Notebook papers are just smaller versions of the full 12 by 12 paper. These are the pattern cards. And again, these are versions of the full 12 by 12 paper. So I don't own these because I will shrink the 12 by 12s down to make my own if I need that. I do, however, own the stickers and I have quite a few of them already cut out because I've used this kit already in the past. And I will see what I've got left of there. But in terms of theme, again, full of beauty, bloom and grow. Um, I'm seeing these sneakers, which I totally have an idea for. Let's see, butterflies, hearts, hearts and flowers. So definitely kind of just a love of life with a nature theme behind it. There is a sneaky peek of the pattern papers. And here are the cut files. We've got actually several cut files. This is the butterflies. We've got, this is a stencil sheet. We've got a frame, border, and then some flower parts that are layerable. And then word cut files, which I don't own any of the cut files, so I might consider purchasing those if I'm interested in adding that into my kit this month. And then here's an overview of the digital kit. Now it's hard to tell everything that's included, but I know there is no overlap between, besides the pattern paper, I should say, there is no overlap between the elements in the digital kit and the elements in her printable kits. So if you like the elements in here, this is the only way to get them and vice versa. If you like the elements in the printable kit, that's the only way to get those. And then the stamps. Now, besides, these adorable sneaker stamps. I could replicate this with things I already own, so I don't own this stamp set now. And honestly, I'm probably not likely to purchase this one because I have a lot of these elements at home. Although those sneakers, they just might get me. All right, that is an overview of this kit. I have some ideas about themes and colors. Now, whether I go with the products that I already have on hand, because I do own parts of this kit and I have printed out parts of this kit, or whether I pull out other physical products that I already have to replicate this kit with, or if I stick with digital, or if I go hybrid and do both, or if I mix Tracy Reed with other manufacturers, I don't know. So I hope you will join me for the next part of this video where I make some decisions and pull an actual kit together. All right, I had a chance to go down to my space and start uh, looking over things. And the first thing I did was pull out the pieces from the Tracy Reed kit that I already had. And as you can see, I've partially used some of them because I did work on another project with those. And I started looking through all of this stuff and I decided you know what, I'm just gonna stick with this because I like the Tracy Reed products. So what I'm gonna do is because those are eight and a half by 11 printouts, I'm gonna pull in a whole bunch of cardstock this month as support 
to any 12 by 12 layouts I do. Now I do sometimes do eight and a half by 11s and so that I could go that direction, but I wanna have this card stock in here as an option for the larger size. And instead of using a tan card stock, which I, or a craft card stock, which I had originally thought of doing, I did pull some extra pattern papers in wood grains because there is a little bit of wood grain in the Tracy Reed line. So I wanted to incorporate that into my products and I'm skipping past, even though I have a lot of beautiful patterns in here, some of these just don't, they're a little too rustic, I think is, is what I'm thinking for this. And I stuck with the darker tones in order to have more contrast between the papers from the Tracy Reed kit. And then I went and printed papers. I didn't print everything from the line, just the pieces that I thought that uh, would be most usable to me. So I chose patterns that were my favorite and then I tried to add in enough color contrast so that layering would work. And some I did in multiple prints and some I only did in single prints, knowing that I could go and print more if I needed to. And then I turned to her digital kit, which includes an alphabet. Now this alphabet isn't intended to be a print and cut file, but I turned it into that. And I'll have more information on that for you on the September 4th video. And with the beginning of the alphabets, I start turning my attention to embellishments. And this is where I go a little off the rails here. So I was inspired by a lot of the little journaling pieces in the print and cut uh, embellishment pack that she has, what she calls the stickers. And so I pulled out a bunch of journaling card style dies and stamps. And then she also had a cut file that was intended to be a stencil. And so I thought, yeah, let's do some stenciling, especially since I've recently done some mixed media for the first time in quite a while. And so my brain is kind of on fire with that idea right now. And as you can see, uh, on fire is the truth because I pulled out about 6 million of these spray inks in various varieties. Most of them have shimmer, but a couple of them are glossy sprays, which I've only played with a little bit. So I did narrow it down just a little bit to just the colors that I thought could work. Also, because there's a lot of hearts in the Tracy Reed, not a lot of hearts. There are, uh, th there's definitely hearts play a role in our inspiration kit. So I did pull out some heart enamels and puffy stickers. And in her digital kit, she had a little bit of um, like Baker's twine. And so I thought, yeah, let's add some twine in there too. So I pulled out a selection and narrowed it down. And then I wanted some sparkle just because I wanted some sparkle, um, a little bit of a different break from the enamel dots I've been using a lot lately. And so I pulled out some sequins and I topped it all off with some washi tape in butterflies, hearts and grids, which remind me of other elements in the kit. And then with that alphabet set, I pulled in a couple more, a couple, three, four more alphabet sets for a variety. And I have way more embellishments here than I think I can use up with those pattern papers. So I may need to print more paper throughout the month, but we shall see. Anything I don't use certainly will just go back into my stash for another time. So that's it. That's my kit for this month. I hope you will join me on the 4th to see how I created that alphabet, as well as an alternative idea if you don't have a Silhouette or Cricut style cutting machine. And until then, I hope you have an artful day.